One of the scariest books that I have ever read was a children's book named Bony Legs by Joanna Cole. I remember that I couldn't sleep for a couple of days because I was afraid that the witch Baba Yaga would come after me. It scared me because she would eat children and then use their bones to make the fence surrounding her home that stands on chicken legs. Even now, I shudder thinking about Baba Yaga. It was fitting that was the name given to the best assassin in movies, John Wick. What's even scarier than John Wick or the witch in Bony Legs is knowing that Baba Yaga is the name given to a real person. Meet Tamara Samsonova, the real life Baba Yaga. Tamara Samsonova was born on April 25, 1947, in the city of Azur, in Russia. After college, she moved to St. Petersburg and married Alexei Samsonov in 1971. Alexei would disappear in the 2000s, and Samsonova would go to the police looking for him. After it was found out that she was a serial killer, Tamara is now suspected of murdering her husband. Tamara started renting out a room in her apartment after her husband disappeared. She rented it out to a 44-year-old man. The police say that the tenant in Sansonova got into an argument. This prompted her to kill him, dismember his body, and leave it on the street. She told investigators, quote, I killed a lodger named Volodya, cut him into pieces in the bathroom with a knife, and laid his body in wrapping and scattered him in the fruits district." Unquote. Twelve years later, Samsonova started caring for a 78-year-old Valentina Ulanova. She would eventually kill the woman. Just as the 44-year-old tenant, Tamara would chop off the body and take them to a nearby pond. However, this time we know that she drug Valentina and started dismembering her while the woman was still alive. She put Valentina's head in a kitchen pot and there is CCTV showing her carrying the pot downstairs, as well as the numerous strips to take the body part out of the apartment building. Samsonova told police that she was tired of Valentina and that they had gotten into it when Ulanova had told her that she didn't wash the teacups correctly. Samsonova was arrested for the murder of Valentina Ulanova. During a search of her home, investigators found her diary where she talks about murdering 11 people. They also found traces of blood in her bathtub and a saw. The police are now relooking at unsolved cases with victims being dismembered. It was also found that Tamara was obsessed with serial killer Andre Shikatilo. He murdered, sexually assaulted, and cannibalized at least 55 people. They also found books on black magic. Samsonova was taken for a psychiatric evaluation in which she was diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic. And also, as of today, she is still in jail. Samsonova told journalists outside the courthouse, quote, I knew you would come. It's such a disgrace for me. All the city will know, unquote. Tamara Sansonova is definitely not one little old lady who I ever want to encounter. It hasn't been confirmed if she is a cannibal, but it's something that they suspect being that the serial killer that she was obsessed with was a cannibal. And they also found missing body parts of some of the victims. I guess they're not releasing everything, but it seems like the Russian counterpart of the FBI is giving out tidbits of details and it seems like they have found some of the other victims and some of them had missing lungs which is kind of gross all i know is that i hope that russia never releases her due to her old age and that she is definitely one dangerous old lady if you haven't subscribed please do so now and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i release a new video 
Also, sign up for the newsletter so you'll be notified via email every time I do release a new video as well as a new podcast episode. Next week, we'll hit the 50th episode, so you don't want to miss out on that one. I'll talk to you next week.